Everybody, welcome back to the channel. X231 update for you today. It's finally time for us to take that broken front steering bolster down to the machine shop to be repaired. So we're gonna use the tractor with the forks. We're getting lazy. We're gonna get that thing put into the back of the silver truck. here for the machine shop we have another uh, cylinder head off of an older uh, single cylinder engine we're taking down as well has a bit of a crack in it they said they could also take a look at that but we have this front bolster pretty well stripped all the bearing races are out of it senior cleaned this thing inside and out the other day so hopefully it's not greasy it's not too big of a mess for them and uh, I've mentioned this piece a couple times on the channel this is the last major 10x prototype casting that needs repair and if you guys have watched the prior videos you'll remember how this piece you know, let's see how does it go like that this piece here had cracked out around that snap ring bore that holds this uh end cap piece in and i'm suspecting they got the power piston out of time in this at one point and when they went and uh, turned all the way to stop it drifted too far this way contacted this plug and popped it out and broke all the material away that was outside of the snap ring. So we need to get that fixed some way, somehow. We've got all the associated parts to go with this so the machine shop can have a good look at it. Like I said, power piston, end cap, piece that broke out. This is a sleeve that goes in here that the piston rides in. They've got everything there that they need to have a good look at it and hopefully know what's going on and know what we're trying to accomplish with the repair. So this is Sunday. August 4th. Yeah, we're gonna head down uh, this afternoon. It's probably about a seven hour drive for us, which, you know, could be done in one day there and back if we, if we wanted to make a long day out of it. But um, we're just gonna make it a leisurely trip. Head down this afternoon and stay overnight, probably in Story City, drop the piece off Monday morning and head back tomorrow. So that's the plan. Uh. All right, about 1 p.m., everything's packed. Got a Bags in the back seat back there. Should have everything we're gonna need. Just waiting on Senior to climb in the truck and then we'll be off to the deep south, Iowa. Well, first snafu of the trip here. Got about a mile to go. Traffic like this, bumper to bumper. Everybody from the cities heads north, trying to get home now, and we're right in the middle of it. If you guys having troubles, a uh, little flashing lights here, don't know what this issue is, but yeah, we got a mile to go before we get to the two-way and then another mi nine mile stretch of that. And then after that, hopefully clear sailing. Well, starting to pick up a little speed here. We're doing the crossover to the other side. Been doing a lot of construction work here. Took us uh, two miles, like I say, a little over two miles, about 50 minutes to get this far. Hopefully we can start making time. Well, here we are, less than a mile into our two-way, complete stop again. Welcome to Minnesota. Got two seasons, winter, road construction, both slow you down. Well, here we are, about a little over 11 miles. Uh, hour and 17 minutes later, we're back on the freeway and getting in some traveling now. Thanks for visiting Minnesota. Now this is Iowa. Where's all the rocks? Don't see any rock piles out here. They must be doing it wrong. Oh. Okay guys, Story City, Iowa, about 8 p.m. Uh, worst part of the trip was just getting through that road construction, uh, leaving Pine County in Minnesota. That was a bit tedious, but uh, anyway, we're going to spend the night here. We're probably only about 20 miles from where the machine shop is, but we're going to drop that, those uh, pieces off to be repaired anyway. So pick back up in the morning. Okay, Monday morning, August 5th. 
we got about 20 more miles to go before we get down to Nevada, Iowa, where we're going to drop off those pieces. So we are literally going to be like right on top of the equator by the time we get there. Haven't been this far south in years. Let's get going. And this should be the place. Well, that seemed to go well. They didn't kick us out anyway due to that horribly broken casting, but it's kind of... Uh, it's a little bit odd leaving something here for somebody else to work on for a change. I don't, <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. How about you? <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, I have confidence. They do good work. Like I say, these are the same guys that fixed that rear end housing um, on X231, and everything ended up perfect with that. So like I guess I don't feel too bad. So now we got about seven hours back north again. Look at that weed they got growing out there. Looks funny. Back into Minnesota. Expect to see any uh, construction going on here very shortly. So, like I say, two seasons, winter and road construction. Well, here we are back at the compound. Made the trip just fine. Uh, road construction wasn't nearly as bad coming back as it was going down, but we caught a pretty good uh, Twin Cities weekend to rush heading back south when we went went down. So, uh, other than that, like I said earlier, it's always hard to hand a piece off to somebody else to fix because I do like doing as much as I possibly can myself. But uh, I trust those guys down there for uh, the the quality of work that they did on X231's rear end housing and the the extensive repair they did on that. They've uh, more than proven themselves in my mind. So hopefully that front steering bolster casting is no trouble at all for them. But anyway, guys, this has been X231 update video. Um, it's only about two o'clock in the afternoon here. I've got the rest of the day off before I got to go back to work tomorrow. So I might get back in the shop, see if I can't finish off another X231 installment video. I've got a 2-3 shift fork. Uh, video kind of fabrication and uh, uh, installment that I've been working on on and off for about the last two weeks. And I'm thinking I might be able to get that done this afternoon. So look for another uh, X231 installment here coming in the next couple days. Thanks for watching guys. Hope to see you back again.